If I told you there's a place in South Africa where a river runs red as blood, flows straight into the ocean, and the red just stops, like someone drew an invisible line in the water and said, this far, no further, you'd probably think I was talking about folklore, some old tale passed down through generations, but this is real. This is happening right now, every single day, at the Caymans River in Western Cape, South Africa. And the science behind it is just as fascinating as any story our ancestors could have told. Here's what makes this even more incredible. The water isn't polluted. It's not dangerous. It's crystal clear when you dip your hand in it. Yet it looks like something out of a dream, or maybe a warning. And when it reaches the Indian Ocean, the two colors meet but refuse to blend, creating one of nature's most stunning visual mysteries. Before we dive deeper, tell me where you're watching from and how the weather is treating you today. Drop a comment and let me know how you're doing. Now, most people who see photos of the Caymans River assume something terrible has happened. Red water must be pollution, right? Must be chemicals, industrial waste, or some kind of environmental disaster. That's the conventional belief. Red water equals danger. It's what we've been conditioned to think. But here's where everything you know gets turned upside down. In this video, I'm going to take you to the Caymans River, show you exactly why the water runs red, explain the science behind that impossible boundary where red meets blue, and share the fascinating history of this place that once forced travelers to turn back for weeks. Every fact you're about to hear has been thoroughly researched and verified. Let's go. The Caymans River is located in the Western Cape province of South Africa, near a coastal town called Wilderness. If you're traveling along South Africa's famous garden route, you'll pass right over it on the N2 highway. The nearest large towns are George and Mossel Bay, and this river has been part of South African history for centuries. In fact, the river has two names. Officially, it's called the Caymans River, but locals also know it as the Kirom River, which translates to Turnabout River. Want to know why? Centuries ago, before modern bridges and roads, this river was an absolute nightmare for travelers. When the rains came, the Caymans would swell into a raging torrent. Wagons couldn't cross. Families on horseback couldn't cross. So they waited, sometimes for days, sometimes for weeks. And when the water refused to calm down, they had no choice but to turn around and find another route. That's how it got its nickname, Turnabout River, the river that made you go back. Eventually, a man named Thomas Charles John Bain built the Seven Passes Road, finally giving travelers a safe way to cross. But that red water? That never changed. So let's talk about why the water is red. The Caymans River flows down from the southern slopes of the Outer Niqua and Tsitsikama mountain ranges. These mountains are covered in something called Fainbos. Now, if you've never heard of Fainbos, let me tell you something remarkable. Fainbos covers only 6% of southern Africa's land area, but it holds half the plant species on the entire subcontinent. Almost one in five of all African plant species exist in this tiny region. It's one of the most biodiverse ecosystems on Earth. And Fainbos does something unusual. As the plants grow, shed leaves, and decay, they release organic compounds into the water. Specifically, tannins and humic acids. These are the exact same compounds that make tea turn dark brown when you steep it. When rain falls on the Fainbos covered mountains, it picks up these tannins as it flows downhill, staining the water a deep reddish brown. The locals call it Roybos tea water. And just like tea, it looks dark and rich, but it's completely harmless. The water is clean. It's safe. You can swim in it, kayak through it, drink it if you filter it properly. The color has nothing to do with pollution or minerals seeping through rocks, despite what some social media posts claim. 
It's purely organic. It's nature making tea on a massive scale. But here's where the real magic happens. When that tannin-rich, amber-colored river water reaches the Indian Ocean, something extraordinary occurs. The red doesn't gradually fade into the blue. It stops. Sharply. Like someone painted a line across the water with a brush. Why? Density. Fresh water from the Caymans River is lighter than the salt water of the Indian Ocean. Salt water is denser because of all the dissolved minerals and salt. So when these two bodies of water meet, they don't immediately mix. Instead, they flow side by side, creating this dramatic, visible boundary. The red freshwater literally sits on top of or alongside the denser green-blue salt water. Under calm conditions, you can see this line perfectly. It's razor sharp. Photographers travel from all over the world to capture it because it looks impossible. It looks like two different planets touching. But when the ocean gets rough, when strong currents and wave action kick in, that's when you see the mixing begin. The boundary becomes marbled, swirled, like watching paint blend in slow motion. Eventually, the tannins disperse, and the ocean's natural color takes over. What topic about African nature or culture baffles you the most? Drop it in the comments below, and I'll research it and make a video just for you. Now let me tell you about the bridge. At the mouth of the Caymans River, where the estuary meets the sea, there's a historic railway bridge. This bridge used to carry the Outer Nikwa Chuch Joe, the last passenger steam train in Africa. Can you imagine? A vintage steam train crossing over that red and blue water junction, with tourists leaning out the windows, cameras clicking, trying to capture the impossible? The train ran until 2006, when landslides forced the line to close. But that bridge is still there, still standing, still one of the most photographed landmarks on the garden route. People drive for hours just to stand at that spot and watch the colors collide. And here's something else. In 1952, they built the first curved bridge in South Africa, right here on the Caymans River Pass. The N2 highway crosses the river on this pass, winding through sharp curves and steep gradients. There's a viewpoint called Dolphin Point where you can get a 270-degree panorama of the whole area, including Wilderness Beach stretching out below you. But in 2006, the same year the train stopped running, heavy rains caused a massive chunk of the pass to slip into the sea. The N2 had to close completely between George and Nisna. It was a crisis. This river, the one that used to make travelers turn back centuries ago, was still demanding respect. Like, comment, and subscribe if this story is opening your eyes to something you never knew existed. Your subscription means the world to me. This channel is still young and growing, and every single one of you helps keep these incredible stories alive. So what does the Caymans River teach us? It teaches us that nature doesn't need our permission to be extraordinary. It teaches us that sometimes the most beautiful things look dangerous at first glance. And it teaches us that there are still places on this earth where you can witness something so rare, so visually stunning, that it stops you in your tracks and makes you question what you thought was possible. The Caymans River isn't just a pretty sight for Instagram. It's a reminder of how powerful and creative the natural world can be. It's a place where chemistry, biology, and physics come together to paint a picture that looks like it was designed by an artist who understood color theory better than any human ever could. And here's the thing that gets me. This phenomenon happens because of Fainboss, a plant ecosystem that exists almost nowhere else on Earth. If Fainboss disappeared, the red would disappear too. The river would run clear or brown like most rivers. That dramatic color boundary at the ocean would fade into memory. But right now, today, as you're watching this video, that red river is flowing. That boundary is holding. And travelers from all over the world are standing on that bridge, mouths open, phones out, trying to make sense of what their eyes are telling them. 
The Caymans River Gorge is popular for hiking and whitewater kayaking. Adventure seekers paddle upstream to reach waterfalls and a famous viewpoint called Map of Africa because of the shape of the rock formation. The estuary is calm enough for swimming and gentle paddling, and the whole area sits within one of the most biodiverse regions on the African continent. What part of this story fascinated you the most? Was it the density difference keeping the colors separate? The fact that Fainbos creates this color naturally? Or the history of the turnabout river that trapped travelers for weeks? Tell me in the comments. I really want to know what captured your imagination. Before I close, let me leave you with this thought. We live in a world where we think we've seen everything where we scroll past a hundred images a day without blinking. But the Caymans River reminds us that mystery still exists. Beauty still exists. And sometimes, the most incredible things are happening right now, in real time, in places most of us will never visit but can still marvel at from a distance. The next time you see something that looks too strange to be true, pause before you dismiss it. Ask questions. Dig deeper, because the world is full of wonders that seem impossible until you understand the science behind them. And even then, even when you know exactly why something happens, it doesn't make it any less magical. Our stories, whether they come from ancient wisdom or modern science, deserve to be told with honesty and wonder. If this video moved you, subscribe to this channel and keep these conversations alive. Hit that notification bell so you never miss a story that makes you see the world differently. Until next time, stay curious, stay connected, and remember that the Earth still has secrets worth discovering.